Okay, hi everyone. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So um, I decided to teach you how to apply for an ESPA since um, most ng tao, I think, is nahihirapan or they don't know yet paano mag-apply ng ESPAS. And it is one of the requirements um, if you will go to El Nido or to other provinces here in the Philippines for travel. And since pang Philippines naman siyang requirement, um, I'll be speaking Tagalog na lang din. Um, I will not be showing myself and it's just a voiceover. Okay, so let's start. First thing you have to do, of course, is to type ESPAS. Yeah, they also have an application. I think, meron, yeah, may application sila, pero I did mine here. Um, so, kung wala ka pang SPAS, click on register. Okay, so, paano mag-register? So, lagay mo yung number mo dito. Let's say 09, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and then type mo ulit dito. 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, next. So, login information. Um, lagay mo dyan yung password mo and confirm password. Um, let's say... Okay, so type lang ako. And then, next. So, ayan. First name. Itong part na ito, madali lang naman ito, registration. First name, middle name, last name. Um, gender. Um, region, saan ka nakatira. Okay, so pwede mong ilagay um, for a kung Batangas. Okay, lagay natin Laguna. Yan, pili ka ng city and then barangay. Okay, ganyan. And then your email address. Sige, type lang tayo. And then, lagyan tayo ng age. And um, here, client type, you are an individual. Kung individual ka, let's say, hindi ka part ng LGU, ng government, ng NGO, pwede ding student. So, ayan. Pero ako, individual lang. Adding your email address in the event that you forgot your password. Next. Okay, actually, tapos na to sa part na to. Um, I-review mo na lang yung information after. So, ganun lang kadali gumawa na registration. And then, I think magkasend sila ng OTP. Okay, pero if meron ka naman ng SPAS, so click mo na lang yung login para mag-apply. Okay, so lalagay ko dito yung number ko. Okay, lagay ko yung number ko. And then password. I'm not a robot. And log in na ako. May name ako dyan. That I'm not gonna show you. And then, and actually, mag-check yun dito yung restrictions. Pero minsan hindi rin siya ganun ka-updated dahil may at maya nag-change. So, lagay natin, il nido. Search. Okay, so okay, dito nakalagay kailangan ng SPAS. Yes. View details. Makikita natin dito yung requirements. Mm. Okay, for fully vaccinated antigen test, approved SPAS vaccination card or vaccert. So, uh, malino naman na sinabi sa akin when I applied na kung wala kang vaccert, like me, wala pa rin siya kahit matagal na akong fully vaccinated, um, Okay na yung vaccination card. Okay. So, for returning individuals, may iba't ibang. Ayan, may iba't iba silang requirements. We're here for tourists. So, ayan. Apply tayo. Ayan. mag apply tayo ng permit. Apply. What is your current location? Okay. okay let's say Laguna. And then pick or search your destination, El Nido. You need to apply. Yes, I know. Okay. So, apply. Tapos, dito, anong klase kang traveler? Are you a Filipino local worker? Local tourist? Yeah, alam ko ito yung 
Yeah. Nag-local tourist ako noon. And then, andyan na yung name ko, female. And then, date of departure. Yes, ilalagay mo yung araw ng flight mo. And then, date of arrival, same day lang din siya. I know, parang walang sense. But yeah. Alis ka ng Manila ng Feb 1, dating ka ng Feb 1. Pagaling kang Laguna, and then address here. Mm-hmm. Barangay. Ah, okay. So, ito yung address mo. Lagay tayo ng ano, medyo makatotohanan. Um, Rizal Street, Barangay San Antonio. Okay, and then yung destination mo is papunta kang El Nido. So, ilalagay mo anong address nung hotel. Let's say, um, 23 Serena Street, uh, Barangay Buena. Suerte. Ayan. Tapos, mode of transportation, um, paano ka nga ba pupunta doon? By air. Pwede mo ilagay dito yung um, flight number. Okay. So, private. Oh, no, no. It's a public transportation. I'm not a robot. Proceed. Um, okay. So, dito na tayo sa attach-attach ng mga files. Government-issued ID. Pwede passport. So, ilagay mo yung passport number mo dyan. And then, upload ka dito ng file. And then, RT-PCR result. Hindi natin kailangan since we are fully vaccinated. Um, actually, when I went to El Nido, walang antigen na requirement. So, ang in ko dito is my vaccination card. And then, since kailangan ng antigen right now, but I think kaalisin din nila yon soon, um, dito ilalagay yung antigen result. Ang requirement is 48 hours before your flight or arrival. And then, other documents requirement. Pwede mong i-attach dito yung plane tickets mo or yung hotel mo. And then, click, I'm not a robot. Ayan. And then, you have to wait for LGU action na. Um, kung, actually, pwede mo siyang i-follow up sa El Nido Tourism page. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's it. Um, it's easy, pero kung, med- kung wala ka pang experience traveling um, in the new normal, medyo confusing siya. So if you have questions, feel free to comment below. And I think that's it. So if this helped, please don't forget to subscribe or to like the video at least. Okay, bye-bye!